Hi, Park Surya. Pleasure to meet you again. Thank you for your time. Susan, nice to see you again. Well, thanks for the funds. Well received on Monday. Oh, great. Now, let's take a look at the proposal you have for me. Before I deep dive into the specific details of the proposal, I'd like to just briefly explain how we go about structuring a proposal. At Bank of Singapore, we follow something called the Structured Advisory Process. And within that process, we have a core and satellite approach, where the core is the bulk of the funds you would have, or what I call the sleep well at night money. This is the long-term strategic portion to meet your goal of legacy planning. The satellites are what we call market opportunities that allow us to enhance our returns. And these don't come every day, so we want to make sure that there are opportunities that you are aware of and you could participate in. How does that sound to you? Oh, that sounds very good. Okay, so what I've done is this. Given your risk profile and what you've told me in our first meeting, understanding your personal and family goals, we have structured a 10 million US dollar proposal, which we have split into 8 million US dollars in core and the remaining 2 million in a few satellite options. Would that be okay? Yes. So let me first explain the core. This is the second layer of our approach and we follow the strategic asset allocation methodology. And what that really means is that we look at global macroeconomic data as well as market consensus and we try to understand our position in the current economic cycle. We then design an investment approach that would allow us to be well positioned with the economic cycle to make sure that portfolio volatility is in line with the risk profile. So the strategic asset allocation profile typically looks like an economic cycle. And right now, it's about five to seven years. And as you know, the cycles are getting shorter and shorter. Yes, I can certainly see that. So within strategic asset allocation, we still try to enhance performance within the core by looking at tactical opportunities, what we call tactical asset allocation, which comes every two to three months. So what we'd like to suggest under the core portfolio is to recommend a discretionary Asian fixed income portfolio with an average duration of five to 10 years and a 6% per annum expected return with leverage of 50% as we discussed. So the total portfolio size is 8 million US dollars and the loan rate is currently about 2.5% per annum and is expected to rise in line with the US Federal Reserve projections. I remember that and I agree. So uh, USD 4 million which I just omitted and a leverage of 50% from the bank which makes up a total of 8 million dollars. Yes, you like bonds for the coupon inflows and you'd like to get more exposure to Asian credits within this asset class. So that's what we have done. We'll go through all the bonds so that you are comfortable and familiar with these names, these industries and credit rating. Yes, um, that's right. On the satellite opportunities, again, coming back to what we've discussed, you wanted exposure to Asian equities. But it has to be good quality Asian equities. We have proposed an equity portfolio with 80% of this in Asian blue chip equities across different industries. We've also recommended some high dividend equities, which are all big cap value stocks. So the total equity portfolio of 2 million US dollars is split in three strategies as proposed. 500,000 US dollars outright equity buys for these stocks, which have corrected in the last three months. 1 million US dollars in accumulators for these names, which did not correct too much, but with this strategy, you are accumulating at 10% below present market price. And lastly, 100,000 US dollars each in these three equity funds to get better professional managers for equity exposure in Thailand, India, and Vietnam, where we see value. That still leaves us with 200,000 US dollars to take opportunity if we see any market correction in the next few months. Sounds fine, except that I have a new business venture in Vietnam and instead of an equity fund in Vietnam, do you have any other suggestions? Okay, I understand that you do not want to take any more country risk in Vietnam. Maybe we can put that in a Singapore REIT portfolio in Singapore dollars by converting 100,000 US dollars into Singapore dollars. However, you will be taking an FX risk of Singapore dollars. 
I would be happy to take the Sing Dollar FX risk, and I do like the satellite equity proposal. So, to sum up the core portfolio, it will be 8 million US dollars discretionary portfolio of Asian bonds with 50% leverage. These target names as agreed. However, the bonds invested for you eventually may differ slightly as our professional bond portfolio managers will screen, research and assess individual bonds for good risk-reward value before making any investments for you. Yes, and the satellite portfolio we discussed totaling USD 1.8 million and USD 200,000 cash based in monthly fixed deposits to take advantage of market opportunities. Yes, thank you for confirming. Well, I'm very comfortable with your proposal and happy to proceed. <laughs>